Hello, I'm Mike, and I'm going to talk to you about a script that I've developed called the Parrot Script, which has really enhanced my workflow for motion graphics. Parrot is an animation system for copying and offsetting animation for any keyable property from one layer to as many others as you wish. This is done through expressions and doesn't actually create any new keyframes. Let's start with a simple example using a few solids. This one quickly appears, does a little spin, a size pulse, movement upward, and a little flash, then blurs and fades away. Now let's look at that. That's 17 keyframes on six properties, one of which is a part of an effect, another is a layer style. So I'm going to transfer all of that animation to these other solids in just a few clicks. First, hit Refresh List. This populates the drop-down menu with the layers in our comp. Select our conveniently named Motion Master, then click Parrot. You'll see that all of my other solids now have the same motion and have the same effects applied as the Motion Master. I can still move them around, resize or rotate them, and manually adjust anything in the Transform Property group, but they still retain the animation that has been transferred. By looking at one of these solids, you'll see that while no new keyframes were created, an expression has been written on every animated property. This expression corresponds to the same property of the motion master. By moving the layer marker around, you can offset the start time of the animation. By changing the animation of the source layer, the others update dynamically. Now, you'll notice that the outer glow layer style of these solids uh, is not the same color as the source. And that's because the color property of the source was not keyed. Parrot will only apply to properties that have animation on them. That is, unless you have Parrot all modified keyable props selected for effects or layer styles, whichever the case may be. That will Parrot all keyable properties that have been modified. If you decide later that you'd like to animate another property on your source, like a layer mask, don't worry. Just do it and re-parrot the layers. Your expressions will remain unchanged and Parrot will add the proper effects, masks, or other layer styles to the target, along with the appropriate expressions. Now let's clear out these expressions by selecting those layers again and clicking Unparrot. You'll see that these layers no longer have any expressions and that they aren't moving as we scrub around. I'll remove these markers using the marker management tools. I'll just put in the name of the marker that I want to remove, select the layers, and hit remove named markers. Now I'll do the parroting again with an offset of 0.5. Now you'll see that the markers are offset to a small degree. This works well for subframe offsets like, you know, the motion graphic city. Anyhow, you'll want to keep in mind that the order in which you select your layers plays a role in how the offset is applied. This is a good place to use those marker management tools so you don't have to nudge every individual marker around by hand. When you delete your markers, the parrot expression essentially becomes dormant until a new marker is added. The parrot script lets you store multiple actions on your source layer. I'm going to make the solid shoot toward camera at 3 seconds. At that moment, I will add a layer marker and name it Zoom. As I scrub through the timeline, you'll know that the target layers don't animate the zoom anymore. For now, the marker here is acting as a stopper. But if I add a marker named Zoom to our target layers, you'll see that they now perform the action at the appropriate time, according to their marker. This is really handy if you have a lot of similar elements that you want to leave the stage in the different order in which they appeared. I've got another goodie for you. Look at your master layer. There should be two new effects there. Parrot Dynamic Time Offset and Offset Amount. They don't do anything by default. But when you click this box, Parrot disregards your markers and just offsets the animation of your other layers in the order in which they were originally selected. What's nice is you can slide it around and see your offset in real time, or even animate the offset. Or you can keyframe the checkbox to toggle between dynamic offsets and the manual marker-based ones. If you know you're not going to use it, you can just delete those guys. You won't break anything. For you expression aficionados out there, one advanced feature that you can use is using the My Offset variable. 
on the first line of the paired expression. For any numerical based property, you can input an offset by adjusting the variable, like I'm doing with this stroke property. Or you can tie the variable to an expression slider or any other animated property in your project. Of course, it is possible to break the parrot script, uh, like if you try to transfer shape path animation from a shape layer to a text layer. And similarly, if you try to parrot text animators, they will work if you have those animators previously applied to your target layers. If you don't have them applied, you'll get an error. And Parrot doesn't work on camera layers or light layers. So that's about it. Use Parrot to make trippy transitions, cool stroke animations, uh, the 500th iPad animation that you've had to do this year, and quickly try out different text animations. It's really fun to experiment with, so give it a shot, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks.